Hello, my name is Michel Lacroix. I'm an industrial occupational health and safety inspector with the Ministry of Labor out of the Sault Ste. Marie office. How are you doing today? Hi. Today we're going to look at various potential hazards that we would look for an inspection uh, dealing with uh, loading docks. If you're ready, we'll just head outside and we can start there. There are many areas in the province of Ontario that have loading Which docks. Which way do your vehicles normally would drive in to back up to the loading dock? Uh, the bigger ones are wholesalers, retailers and manufacturing plants. Some of the typical activities would be vehicular traffic coming in and out of the loading dock, uh, parking, stabilizing, immobilizing, pedestrian traffic, uh, forklift equipment moving in and out of the vehicles to load or unload. Being alert and being uh, familiarized with, with your uh, environment is very, very important, be it for the pedestrian, be it for the truck driver that's coming in, be it for any of the forklift operators, uh, loading or unloading from the vehicles or putting your chills up on the racking systems. Communication is an integral part of safety in loading docks, uh, specifically dealing with the truck driver to ensure that he does not leave or move his vehicle prior to the completion of loading or unloading. Also with forklift operators knowing where they are, where they're going and uh, prevent any collisions with uh, various equipments on the floor. Truck driver when approaching a loading dock should be familiarized with the hazards associated with the parking area, where they're going to be bringing their vehicles, light standards, gates, pedestrian traffic. When backing up, they should ensure that they do have a clear line of view and clear sight to the loading dock as to not get interfere with other vehicles, equipment or pedestrians. The proper way to secure a truck at a loading dock is various methods. One is a dock lock system. You can also use wheel chocks which will prevent any inadvertent movement of the vehicle. If they're taking the power unit away they have the landing gears or you can also use trailer stands to help support the vehicle from any side to side motion back or forward motion. Where, where the truck driver is supposed to sit or be during the unloading is a policy and procedure the employers must have in place to ensure that the vehicle cannot move or leave prior to the completion of the loading and unloading. It's very important to keep your work area clean and uncluttered for various reasons. One, for slip, trips and falls. If you have snow or ice, especially in winter, uh, it creates a great, great hazard where people can fall, break their legs, get hurt fatally. Also, if a workplace is kept properly cleaned, forklifts can move freely. They're not having to dodge if the workplace is kept clean, tidy and organized. What's your uh, dock leveler? Uh, it's maintenance annually. Now, do you have records kept on, on site with that? We do have that. Yep. Okay. After, uh, after we're done our physical inspection, we'll, we'll we also look, look at, that, at, at the, records, the maintenance that. records and inspections for lifting devices to ensure that they are maintained properly, as well as the dock leveler and also the maintenance of the dock lock. We also look to ensure that all workers that use various equipments have been properly trained and a record of it has been kept in the workplace for our review. Employers should have properly maintained ventilation systems where filters are checked regularly as per manufacturer specifications. Also carbon monoxide detectors should be installed in these workplaces to ensure that if high levels do occur, the alarm will go off. Staff are all trained Staff that if they see the flashing light, they know exactly what it means? Exactly. Okay. In regards to loading docks, employers have a responsibility to ensure that all staff receive the proper instructions, the information and supervision to maintain a safe work environment for themselves and for all workers. In this type of environment with loading docks, with all the movement of equipment, any inattention could result in a critical or even a fatal injury. Workplace injuries are preventable. If you like more information, you can look on the website for all the workplace safety associations in the province of Ontario and also information is available on the Ministry of Labour website.